welcome again to Educator.com. And now, since you've read the Velt, talked about it with some of your friends, you're now ready for this little short story recap on the Velt. Let's talk about the author first. Our friend Ray Bradbury, who sadly is no longer with us. He has recently passed away. His best known novels are Fahrenheit 451 and The Martian Chronicles. He is so famous that he actually has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And many of his works became movies, television episodes, and other adaptations. Most of these were in the 1950s and the 1960s. There was a show called Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And a lot of those became, a lot of those came from Ray Bradbury's books. Now, finally, Ray Bradbury did not just get many awards, but he has an award named after him. So he is probably one of the best authors of the 20th century, at least in the United States, and he's contributed a lot to the genre of science fiction. Now, about this short story, there's a couple things that you should know about the context and the setting. Well, first off, it's the Velt, a.k.a. The World Children Made Better, which was first published in 1950. Now, in 1950, this house cost $30,000. Now, if you adjust for inflation, that's $29,000 today. For perspective, $30,000 is about what a very, very smart person can make in one year at about age 20. $29,000, if you make that in a year, you are in the highest income tax bracket. Now, this has been adapted for radio and for television. In fact, maybe if you look it up on YouTube, you might find the story of The Velt there. Finally, there is a famous video game called Final Fantasy VI, which was published by Square Inks, that actually had a subplot that was influenced by this story. So you can kind of see how far this story goes. Let's recap that Hollywood 3 act real quick. Act 1 is the introduction and exposition. And then we go through the first doorway when our protagonist does something important or perhaps something dramatic happens to him that forces him to make a decision. Act 2 is all about the rising action. The tension is going to grow and grow and grow and escalate. And then it's going to explode into a climax in Act 3. And then there's going to be the downward motion. How does this story start out?